Gary um, Sadat, for God's name there, just earlier on today, when, when the opposition showed their hand was kind of test week, so it's become a little bit more real? Uh, yeah, I suppose it does. I just caught it there after training. Um, but yeah, they've yeah come out with a strong squad. I think they could have picked any number of permutations, but it's a yeah unbelievably strong squad they've gone for. For yourself, this is this would be your first time playing for that. Yeah, haven't um, yeah haven't played them before. So uh, obviously got played against a few of the guys um, our club, but yeah first crack against South Africa. So it's an, an exciting one. Just like coming across, there'll be some of them you come across in the URC, or at the very least you'll be seeing you've done a week in the URC. Mm. Does, does that kind of level the playing field for, for both sides if they've seen you as well? Um, I think it's a, there's obviously a, a step up at international level and then particularly against them with the quality they they have um, as a South African group. Um, I don't know if it levels the, the field, but you certainly, as you say, you get to see certain elements um, exposed to certain things, but uh, yeah, it's a step up again now this weekend. And just lastly, then your own form at the moment, you've got a good bit of game time so far this season. This season, do you feel kind of a little bit further on in your progression than you might normally be at this time of the year? Uh, yeah, it's good. I feel grateful to have got a couple of cracks and managed to stay injury free and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's been enjoyable and challenging at the same time. Um, so, hopefully, can keep it going. Uh, I mean, you don't look into it too much, uh, but it does kind of help in terms of being able to get the prep done and looking when certain combinations have been together and what they've done and, um, yeah, look at individuals and try and pick up traits or habits they have. Uh, kind of so it's kind of off the, off the pitch on the laptops. Um, it can help a little bit in that. Um, I think they've shown like versatility in the fact that they can beat teams right across the park. Obviously, they've the the power game. That's I mean the foundation of how they play. But then what is off the back of that? Um, yeah, is an unbelievable challenge. Certainly for the backs and the vers versatility they have um, across the back line and and danger they have. Um, we'll have to be honest to to deal with it. Uh, personally, or uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's um, I, I get over the summer didn't actually play as much rugby as I would have liked with getting the head knocked during the second test. Uh, so after a couple of weeks off, you're kind of excited to get back and get a crack at it. And as I say, saying, it's um, thankfully able to stay injury free, um, playing in good rugby and and. You're trying to play good rugby and in challenging games that you have to be at your best each week. Um, so yeah, just in, enjoying that and, and hopefully can keep it going. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's exciting. I mean, testing, te getting to test yourself <laughs> against the best. So, um, and as I said a, a team that can beat you right across the park in in couple of different ways um, so yeah it's an exciting challenge and it kind of motivates you for the week to try and be at your best and, and prep as best you can yeah he was saying to be ready for all uh, um, eventualities so I'm uh, as I'm happy to go wherever I can get on the pitch I'm happy so if it means wing center whatever it is I'll stick my hand up and give it a crack Uh, no, I remember I started on the wing. My first cap under Leo Cullen at Leinster was on the wing. And then I went under Joe as well. He was always telling me to be ready on the wing. Um, and then even like when your World Cup challenges, when the squad's a little bit shorter, guys are always challenged to play more than one position or know what to do. Um, I think as a 13 as well, the, your relationship with your winger is so important, um, both defensively and then on attack. And I guess playing 13 uh, helps when I'm out because I know what the guys inside are thinking and maybe know what the the halfbacks are thinking just from a little bit further out and of a different angle in the game. So I think it's 
yeah, it's the same for both. When I think as as how a lot of teams are attacking as well, the wingers are getting more and more involved. So, um, yeah, to have the ability to play in the middle as well as out, out wide is probably expected of most outside backs now. Yeah. Yeah, it was exciting coming in. Um, what day is it? Tuesday. Coming in on Sunday evening and yesterday, just with the amount of people and a lot of guys coming off the back of a really good tour in, um, in South Africa, excited to get another crack, and then it kind of brings a level of competition to the group to to try and play in both games. So it's it's really cool to be a part of. Yeah, I think it almost benefits the group because you've you've different teams challenging or or preparing for different uh, opposition, and then in training you kind of see different pictures that you wouldn't be exposed to um, when it's just prepping for the one team. So training there today was really challenging because we were throwing stuff at each other that um, we wouldn't have been exposed to before. So and, and I'm sure South Africa um, and New Zealand will have come up things to try and break us down. So to sort of be ready for ready for the unknown is part of the challenge as well. Because there is so many players out there, have you ever felt this amount of competition within an Ireland club before? Uh, yeah, well, I guess there's always competition, um, but you're having 50 odd guys in together all uh, wanting to play on Friday or Saturday, it definitely adds a, a different edge to the week, which is good. Great, thanks. Jerry, apart from obviously yourselves being ranked world number one and then being world champions, is this the best team in the world at the moment? Is that um, no, good question. Certainly, with the going off the back of the World Cup, you can't. That's the the cornerstone or or the whatever it is of of world rugby, and and they've managed to do it. So, challenging ourselves or ourselves against the best, um, yeah, I think is is a fair enough statement. And obviously, how much of a confidence boost would this be coming off the back of the result against the All Blacks? Been a good year, confidence wise and momentum. If you were to beat South Africa, that'd be another massive big feather. Yeah, um, big time. I I guess we're just always learning something about ourselves, and it started from the that Maori game in Hamilton, um, and then the first test in Eden Park, we learned a good bit about ourselves. And you almost, I mean, you get loads from games like that, and then equally from the second, third test, we were just getting so much from it, and you know, I guess we're trying to continue that growth and and evolution. And I've no doubt we'll learn something about ourselves, win or lose on on Friday and learn something about ourselves win or lose on Saturday as well. So it's um yeah, I guess it's part of the evolution. We're trying to grow and get better and testing ourselves against them is yeah, a good way to start. Mm -hmm.